Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alan with Center Consoles Only, and I'm here with Eddie Juan. Thank you very much, Good sir, for taking you, the time on their gorgeous 370Z. We're going to go ahead and learn how this one is set up, learn about different configurations that are available from CV. Eddie, longtime sales professional with CV Boats, is also available to answer questions for you guys, and we we urge you to ask the questions throughout our feed in the comment sections and they will radio over to me and we'll try to answer them throughout the uh, walkthrough here. So Eddie, thank you very much. You're very welcome. This boat in particular, I, I love this layout. I mean, this is great for the family. There's tons of seating here. There's fishability options towards the cockpit, but let's start here up at the bow, kind of walk us through each area. So what we have here and, and what, what other options are available as well. So over here we have the, um, the windlass, so this boat has a windlass, 400 feet of chain, I mean, 400 feet of rope, 20 feet of chain, or 30 feet of chain on this one, actually. Um, okay. It's great. So for the family guy, the guy doesn't want to pick up an anchor and do all that, it's a great, great, um, great option to have. This one also has a, what we call the molded forward seating, so kind of like an a LE version, luxury version of our, of our hardcore fishing boat. So mm -hmm. we got the forward seating here, which is very comfortable. You have um, the retractable, you know, the retractable... Um, Headrest, yeah. which you just press a little button and that comes up and down. It's very sturdy, so it's something that's very strong. You could you could actually be up here on the boat, enjoy your your day up here, sitting down while the boat's underway. Yep. Um, under here we have the uh, fish box, so we have a really nice large fish box in here. That is a massive fish box. Correct. Wow. It's amazing, fully insulated. This fish box, uh, well, all our fish boxes, if they're a fish box, they go out with either a sump pump. 
um, or a strainer system, which this one is on a strainer system. Okay. As you guys know, these CBs are built for series fishing. This fish box is testament to that. It's made to hold large tuna, a swordfish possibly. I mean, you can put all kinds of things in here. Large wahoo. Um, swordfish, obviously, if you cut that bill off or something. Don't give me a hard time about that. So, Eddie, continue on. These bench sheets are, are great. Lay them down. Yeah, lay them down. You also have storage underneath the cushions. So you have this, uh, you know, fiberglass molded door. So you're able to get more, okay. you know, yeah. deck storage, which is nice if you want to throw life jackets or whatever you want in there. Then you just put the cushions down. In this particular model, we did things like he put a little stereo control, stereo controls here. So while they're okay. sitting here, they could adjust the stereo, change the music, which is real mm -hmm. nice. We do all this kind of, you know, yep. neat custom stuff what you're during your build. He also put a couple of a, um, you know, uh, USBs, US, dual USB chargers here. So charge you can, your phone and things like that. Yep, which is really awesome. Important in this day and age. It is important in sure. this day and age. I can tell you. So it's down. Uh -huh, it's nice sorry. to have that that, extra, that storage underneath there. That's like, I guess for fenders or some sandals or just towels, things like that. And yeah. you're using that dead space that otherwise would be. Just right. empty, correct? It, it, when I go diving and I throw my, you know, my fins in there while I'm, I'm moving, oh, okay. I'm getting them out of the way. Keep your deck uncluttered, which is nice. It's just nice, you know, like you said, towels, anything. Perfect. Um, up here, we put the cup holder. So as you're sitting here, as you notice, your arm is there. You could put a cup holder right here. You also put a cup holder right here. A mm -hmm. couple of fishing rods in this gentleman's case is so he could uh, put, it, you know, the Bahama shade or barbecue or whatever and so forth. Yeah. Um, you know. You can see it's well thought out. Obviously, you have the cup holders in front of the bench seats. You have the rod holders in the open area. So you can do a little bit of everything on this boat. And just like anything CV does, and a lot of the owners of CVs, they think these boats out extremely right. well before building them. Yeah. So. yeah, as you notice, he went with a diamond pattern. Some of our boats uh, don't have the, the, we You know, we have different different sure. configurations on cushions that we do, any color cushions, even things like we, you know, we powder coated all his handrails, powder coated his T-top. I love the gray. Yeah, yeah the, the gray. Matching accents. Really pretty, okay. right? Um, under here, we have another box. So you could use this as a cooler, another fish box, storage, whatever you want to Insulated use Insulated as for. well? Correct. Okay. Insulated as well. And this one is also on a strainer system. Okay. So none of these, uh, let's say you put um, bloody fish, food, you're, you bring a you know, watermelon and it goes all over the boat. You, you just press the button and it all goes overboard. Your boat doesn't get all stinky. Very nice. Um, under here, we have our rod lockers, this one over. which are cool. They are lockable. Mm -hmm. And you could slide a rod in here or use the storage, whatever you, whatever you like. Okay, so, oh, wow, that goes a long way. Yeah, seven-foot rod. Seven-foot rod? Correct. That's amazing um, how much storage you guys fit in these boats. I know. And as you see, everything has a water track. So no water will ever go inside these hatches. Everything is designed to go overboard, even as you know, we haven't had... A second, well, right now is the only time yeah. it hasn't rained. But that go, you know, everything it stays nice and dry. So the rainwater, water from salt water, rain water, salt water, correct. A washing the boat, that sort of thing, never yeah. even makes it back to your bills. Just goes never makes out. it back out. So if you want to look at the door, with this one, this door has the our pneumatic system, mm -hmm. which a lot of people love the pneumatic system. Okay. Um, the pneumatic system here, you hit the button. He, he has a safety on. So we put a little latch here. You unlatch it. So when you're on your way in real rough seas, like we just sea trawled this boat. Is Let me get him over here so he can so he can actually... Anthony, come over here if you don't mind. So you can get this door. We're going to crack this open. This is a real nice feature from yes, CB. See it? So we have a pneumatic system. And the pneumatic is off right now. But the pneumatic okay. system, you just hit the button, and it, it comes out for you pneumatically, so you don't have to open it out. By doing that, we eliminate the latch here. And um, you could close the pneumatic from outside or inside. Okay. Yeah, I love that system that you don't have to, you know, pull this thing up, get in, get in the way yeah. of the captain driving. And it's off. That's why they have it off. Yeah. Have access to your, you know, battery switches, your, your rigging, a right. little sink in there, head option. And in here, right, you don't, this gentleman didn't want a head on his boat. He didn't want the smells of a head. Mm -hmm. um, but you could, you know, put a head in there. Um, and that could, you know, something that could be done. Yeah, since the pneumatic is off, the air's a little tight since it's an yeah. air pneumatic air system. system. Very cool. You know, moving on here, this is what we call our oversized T-top. It's really nice for the, you know, especially, you know, as hot as it is in South Florida, it's a real nice T-top. Get the sun, you know, get the sun away from you. So it's, sure. an, it's a elong, elongated here, elongated there. Massive. Um, <laughs> massive, right. 
You got the molded forward LED here, Lumitech LED mm -hmm. forward facing. He went with a powder coated. We do powder coating in uh, what, you know, any color that the customer uh, chooses to do. Right. Okay. We did a polycarb on this enclosure. We did a polycarb in a light gray to kind of match the whole match the whole thing color more. scheme here. No, they Correct. did a great job with all the gray. I huge fan of gray. So this one, this one caught my attention since you guys pulled in, yeah. <laughs> you know, the first day. And this oversized T-top, the amount of shade yeah. that you must get here is is excellent, and it gives you an extension over right even over the rear seat. The so rear if you come seat. back here, you look how, how far it comes back here. So your passengers are sitting here; they're still getting shade. Everybody, yep. I mean, it's a nice, beautiful shaded uh, top. It also nice. we also put handrails, so when you have a lot of passengers, you have these grip handles here, which are Something real to comfortable. Hold on to. Grip handles there also, so it's very comfortable. Okay. Um, over here in the helm area, he, uh, you know, he went with the, you know, most of our models, you you have the uh, acrylic door that comes oh. out, correct? Mm -hmm. So he he chose uh, not to do that door, and he went with a vessel view, and he also did the gauges. You know, like this is cool. We blacked everything out, which is really nice. So we yeah. have options in white gauges, you know, chrome bezel gauges, uh, black right. and chrome, whatever you oh, like. This is really nice with this Edson wheel, kind of like a matter satin black. Yeah. Matching up with all of that and obviously the garments and yeah, it's a of, nice, nice little nice touch. Yeah, it kind of ties everything in. It makes it look, you know, and it's, and it's yours. That, that's a beautiful thing about us. It's, it's your boat, you know, right. I mean? you could do whatever you like. Yeah. Um, so he went with this door here. The reason he went with this door, this little piece of uh, white acrylic, is so he could hide like this garbage water <laughs> bottle that's there, hide his <laughs> keys, um, and hide all that stuff in yeah. there. We tucked his keys in here, and then he has the two, uh, the two Garmin, the 86, the 86 16s. Perfect. I see they have a fusion head unit here. And all JL amps and speakers. JL amps and speakers. Yeah, yeah it's uh, this, I mean, we won't put it up now because yeah. it's too loud, you know, but it's very, it, very it nice sounds, and loud. It yeah. sounds, sounds pretty nice. And as you say, with a, this little pod that, that you do for the JL speakers is excellent. We've seen it on, on other boats as well. As we know, you know, when you're in the boat, you're fishing or you're just hanging out with your family, anything in here sounds amazing yes. with these speakers. But when you're out in the water in the sandbar, these are the stars of the show. Stars of the show. So love that little detail. We would struggle with that back in the in the day, and you guys solved that problem with that. You know, this back area looks like a little party area, dance yeah. floor. With this model in particular, which is obviously built more for kind of cruising and comfort. Yeah. You know, yeah. so he's he's a, he's a very he's very comfort oriented orientated. So the yeah, the beautiful thing about the speakers, like you said, you don't have to crank your stereo to be the loudest guy at the sandbar, right. but you can enjoy your own music behind your boat. Exactly. Really nice setup. Over here, what we still do with our with our our lean, you know, this is the oversized, uh, uh, you know, the oversized captain's edition okay. uh, leaning post. We put the backrest here with the cooler underneath. We make this really cool, so if you did want to fish on it, you still all have right. all your awesome. Um, yeah. Oh, it's great that you guys hide yeah. this. Right. You wouldn't even know that exists there. Yeah, it's pretty neat. So you still have this comes up and down. Um, over here, he went with the deep tackle storage. We went to the deep, the deep tackle storage so he could put his, uh, you know, put his stuff in here. Put like his, he, he's got, a, you know, the uh, fire extinguishers in there, a little piece of sea deck. Yeah. So if they're making cocktails or making some sandwiches, got the non-slip, and we put all the cu uh, cup holders up here. It's definitely nice. Yeah, yeah, when we build your boat, we, you know, we organize like, whatever you want. You want cup mm -hmm. holders, rod holders, combos, whatever you want, we do. That's something we, we talk about, CB, and we've talked throughout these two days, is how they customize these boats for the owner specifically. It's not like these are sitting out at a dealership or anything like that. Every boat is built, and you can right. confirm this for me, for a specific owner, exactly how they want it, from color, electronics, and every detail in between. So it's cool to see the different styles and, and, and everything you guys have done. And just at this show alone, the different tastes of, of the owners of CB. So yeah. cool I, to see I, each one come out of, the, out of the factory. Yeah, I actually like to spend time with the client right before we're doing a, um, you know, we're doing what we call the final, right? Final before we go into uh, production. Mm -hmm. I sit down with you. We like to show you, you know, I like to show you colors of, of hulls. I like to pick your brain. Like this gentleman went with all sea deck. Uh, he went with the gray interior. We could do pink interior if you wanted to. Any yeah. color interior you like. Um, Actually, before we continue out here, what, tell me about the uh, these the chairs here, the triple back. Yeah, this is great. So this is this is an option instead of going with like a LeBrock or something. Um, it's a great option where you could put three people. You have the armrest, kind of like our 45, mm -hmm. but a, a, a less expensive version of, like, you have the, the release real screen, triple. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Re you know, you have that. Oh, this is a really nice right, nice setup. And then in here, you still have all oh, wow. the storage in the world in here. 
So you gain both. When you go with a chair with a power slide, you you, don't, you lose you this. You lose the storage. But this is nice because you could put more Plano. This will fit, you know, four Plano boxes times three here, yeah. which is really cool. Um, and you still got the armrest, which is nice, you know. Very comfortable, very comfortable yeah. seating. Well, when you go to the Bahamas or just, you know, day out with yeah. the family, you can't have enough storage, it seems Absolutely. like. Absolutely. The other thing, if you notice here, we got, you know, we put our push our push button panel on here. Yeah. Which is, which is uh, we got, you know, the Bogatech oh. switches. It's a nice clean look. Oh, it's nice how you guys have it there where, kind of say that, that little plexiglass covers it from getting water spilled on it from whatever drips down. Um Protects it from your your knee, maybe right. you know. Give and one the other of those. thing, you know, you have your you know you have your friend, person sitting here, wife, kid, whatever sitting here. They put their feet up here, yes. not pressing buttons. Little, little protection, <laughs> and you can put your foot. This is not this is not coming yeah. anywhere. Well, and then it gives you that that visibility. You can the visibility, see it very right. clearly. It's yep. a nice a nice design. Yeah, very nice. I'm, I'm, I love I love that panel. Um, and back mm -hmm. here we have a ton more storage, ton more <laughs> of everything. So this here is a huge fish box. So as you remember, we went through that fish box up there, the fish box back there. You have this fish box. These are fully insulated fish box, uh, port and starboard. Um, this box goes all the way up to where he's standing right there with his foot. Wow. So you could put a big swordfish in here. Really? But Wahoo, I mean, this is a great, a great box. That's awesome. Really easy box. Mm -hmm. These are on our sump system. These go out. And again, none of this will go in your bilge. So that's a real nice Very box. Nice. Over here, we have another, yet another box. <laughs> so as you see, there's some, yeah, there's some water in here. So, you, you know, if I just hit the button, all the water will come out. So this morning when they were cleaning the boat, they probably left it open and all that water got in there. Right. And then over here, we have another fish box, which is this one, again, rolls all the way up in here. As you see, and it goes way up in here. Yeah, you can't even see the end of that thing. Right. Can't even see wow. the end of it. The, again, these are fully insulated fish boxes. And by the way, they hold ice for days. Really? Excellent box, yeah. That's incredible. Um, over here, we have our side door. Would you like me to open it? Yeah, let's crack it open. Yeah, so you hit here. Why not? Pull up. Got the side door open. If you see our side door, doesn't, you know, um, we, we do a really great job with our side doors. You put a little pin there and you it holds it You put a little place. pin, correct. And our side doors, we don't have another door that you have to flip here. Right. And a little door that you have to flip excuse me, outer in. It's, it's a one solid yeah. one-piece door. You have the ladder tucked away. Ladder pops out completely, really easy to board the boat. Makes oh, it real comfortable. Oh, very nice. Keep well, it's nice to not have to have a, you know, dig a ladder in another box. It's clanking Correct. around and, and you go keep, ahead with the question. And you keep the family, um, you keep the family out of the back of the motors. What is a standard seat um, up here in the helm? This isn't, this isn't the standard. This, this, is, is, a, standard. this is an option. This is a small option. Correct. Small option. Okay. So what, what is the standard? Just a regular? Standard would be flat. a bench. bench. It, you would still, okay, so this would still be here. It would, okay. it would come up, right? And then instead of this being a triple back with armrest, it's just a bench. This is basically another extension of this that, that continues straight across. Correct. And mm -hmm. we could do the bench. If you don't want to do this, we could do the bench with two outside armrests. You don't have to go with the two in the center if you don't like yeah. to. Okay. Which is real popular for us to do also. So basically, there's a ton of options. Contact Eddie if you want more details about that. But you can do just about anything with these CVs. So, yeah, back Let's here. Let's continue on. Um, back here, we have more storage. These are not, these back here are not, uh, I flipped the seat down just so we could see it. So Go here ahead. we have storage. See these? These are, oh, yeah. are drop-in drop -in bins. We could pull these out. You could throw, you know, whatever you want in there, take them off, clean them off. And That's it nice. also you can remove that whole bucket correct. out of there. And right. it gives you great bilge access. Um, over here, we have our bilge. Um, since we always have to think of resale, and me knowing this gentleman wasn't going to fish, right? This is a great guy, Caesar. Um, I recommend that let's go ahead and put a sea chest on the boat. Yeah. Because you got to always think of the resale value. True. So this is kind of just good might to do well it. Put it might in as there, well do it thinking now. Thinking about the, uh, the exit eventually. Correct. So we got Get into four your next CV. Correct. Right into the 39 from there. It'll right. Very good. Uh, four pump sea chest. We've got our sump system, and we do a really clean job on the yeah, boat. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Looks great. Super clean. Everything oh. you could possibly imagine ready to go in there. Yeah, we got all your little placards. We have everything ready to go. You pick up a boat from us, um, put gas in it, and go fishing. Go. Yeah. All right, so we're holding up, actually, the yeah. removable bench sheet. Let's go ahead and put the, the legs down on it. 
So what's nice, what's nice and with this configuration with the live wells port and starboard is you you have this huge bench option compared to the other one which has a live well down the center. They also have two great loungers. It's not like you don't have seating, but this is just a huge, great bench. You can put five people on here. It seems yeah. no problem. It's massive. Right, and th this all completely, you know, pulls off, removes right off the boat. It's real easy mm -hmm. to, real easy to take this off. You leave it in the dock, put it in when you're ready to use it. Very nice. Uh, as you see, we put some cup holders back here. So when he's there, this family sitting down here, you have a beer, whatever you could put in your cup. You have some. Gotta place always to put think it of that. Yeah. So we, we <laughs> when we build a boat after you, we sit down and we go through every little every little mm -hmm. inch of this boat. We go through. Very good. Question about the dive door. Go okay, ahead, sir. guys. Is an inward facing dive door an option? On this model, no, only on our 45Z. Okay, the 45, this one, standard just like that. Is that a, a standard? That is not standard. That's an option? small option. Okay, standard small option is a well. transom door. Okay. Yeah, in okay. this boat, actually, he went with just a side door. We've done both. And he also put the, uh, you know, the pull out dive ladders. You oh, see okay. the tube ladder? And the, if you look at the transom, oh, back they come there, out of the transom, they're just correct. tucked in. Yeah. And we nice... did that just in case he didn't want to use the, the, the side door. You're cleaning the boat and you fell off. Mm -hmm. um, you could just pull those out to hop in the boat. So it makes it really nice. He's got port and starboard on this boat. Okay, nice. The triple 400s, I see they custom painted these, this also to match the gray scheme, which is really nice. Imagine you guys do that yourself. It's an option. Yeah, correct. We do that. That's okay. something we, we, we have. A, we do the option. We can custom paint them any color that you, at, when we're building your boat, that you choose. Okay. Um, performance with this setup here. You have an idea? Ballpark? Yeah, you're talking about ballpark, a realistic ballpark with fuel in the boat and everything. Uh, you're looking at close to 70 miles an hour. Really? Wow. Yeah. Um, fuel economy is really nice on this boat. So at cruise, you're about 1.1, 1.2 at a 40, 45 mile an hour cruise, depending on sea conditions and load, obviously. Very nice. Um, and, you know, wide open throttle, obviously, all those numbers go how up. Many, how many gallons of fuel? 450 gallons. Of fuel. 450 gallons. Correct. Wow. Beautiful. Well, you guys definitely did a good job with this, like you've done on every boat here. Well, thank it's you. It's tough to, I think when you get to the point when you decide on the CB, the hardest thing to do at that point is, is try to figure out what you're going to do from there. Right. It's got to be fun, mean. but a lot of decisions to make since yeah. you guys customize them so much. And, and, and you know, we help you do that. You know, we, yeah. we're very helpful to helping you choose. And if you ask for a picture of something that you might not see here at a boat show or whatever, we, mm -hmm. could, we could send you something. Or you have an idea, we can talk to you and see what we can, how we can do it. Very good. See these are Gemlux Outriggers as well on, yeah, the, Gem on here? Yeah, Gemlux Outriggers. As you see, even, we even custom paint the antennas on here. Oh, wow. These are custom painted Kingston gray antennas to match the boat. Look at that. Awesome. Another cool thing is he didn't want the top of the... This guy does a lot of photography like you guys do. Okay. So the top of the T-top is actually gray. Look at so that. So he doesn't get so a shot. So the drone up in the air can, is going to get some nice shots of that. Yeah. We can appreciate that for sure. Yeah, it's a little lighter gray up there just to kind Very of... Very nice. When he, when no, he absolutely the love the gray with the sea deck. They mixed everything perfectly yeah. here. So. And I don't know if you noticed in, in uh, all our models, we except our 27, we have the molded um, fresh yep. salt water... That's something I don't think we've seen really anywhere else that they actually molded the the uh, fresh and, and saltwater washdowns into the liner, which right. is, you know, you normally see that plastic piece, which is fine. You put that in, it does its job, but yeah. going that extra mile is something you don't see and, often. And the plastic piece works great. Exactly. It's just, it, with our boats, it, this just kind of makes yeah. it who we are. Yeah. Um, the, other, the other cool thing is we put, you know, so, uh, we put the oh, uh, freshwater shower. shower heads. This boat happens to have two of them, so you have one on this side, which obviously it's stuck and it's going to make me look bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show you the other side. All right, <laughs> it's in there. We'll take your word for it. Yeah, no, it's just the little the little handle broke. So you Jammed have this. Up. Okay, they're five foot hoses. So when you come in through the side door, you could rinse Shower yourself off, in fresh water. If you have two people, go. you walk across and you have two fresh water uh, plugs awesome. on this one. What kind of fresh water tank? You have uh, on here? Fifty. This one's like fifty gallon. 50 gallons. Well, beautiful, beautiful boat once again. I think we've gone through most of it. Do we have any other questions up there? All right. No, I think we're good. Eddie, Alan, I want to thank you again. You do, man. Oh, man. Definitely not that, but we try. We definitely try. <laughs> thank you once again. If you guys have any questions, keep sending them there. We'll continue to answer them, and we'll toss them over to Eddie. What's your email, Eddie? In case it's Eddie, E-D-D-I-E at cvboats.com. All right, so we'll put that in the comments. Brian, if you can put that in the comments as well in case anyone wants to reach out to you specifically. 
they can do that. And thank you once again. Thank you. Up next, we have our conversation with Seakeeper. We have Nick with us today, and we're going to be on the 450, showing how they collaborated with that boat specifically. Learn more about a gyro, which I know personally a lot of people don't know much about. So we're going to get into detail about that at 12 o'clock. So about 30 minutes. We'll see you there.